Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel for another First Amendment Expose. If you like this video, please subscribe. It's a small click but with a big impact. Today I chose a video from Delete Laws. In this video, Chili the Castro explains how to be sure to get arrested. Alright, let's do this. Chile de Castro, this gigantic dwarf on steroids, was or is still in jail? Is he out? Uh, he posted that live stream three weeks ago saying it's not over and also Chile's back. So, you know, go figure. Anyway, in this mess of a video, this delusional treasure of constant redundancy is giving you the ABC of how to be guaranteed to get arrested at a traffic stop. Thankfully, I do the opposite and will tell you how to not get arrested at a traffic stop. Enjoy. Oh, that's so crazy. No, I'd rather not put my window down. Put my window down now. Oh, the yellow. Roll your window down now. Brother, you work for me, dude. You work for the people. You're a public servant. But this is how they treat us in this country, and it's despicable. This uh, stupid video is named Cops Escalate Traffic Stop for no reason. And after 30 seconds, you already have a reason. You can make this shit up. And no chili, they don't work for you. They work for law enforcement. And that's what they do. They enforce the law. If you don't like it, uh, get elected and change the rules. Also, a traffic stop is one of the most dangerous situation for cops. It's pure provocation from the get-go. And you know it. It's my medical opinion that you're making a big mistake, and it's going in my chart. Roll your windows down now. I refuse to put my window down. Roll the window down. I'm not. No. <laughs> no. What you jumping? What you grabbing my shit for? Why are you grabbing my doors like that? What are you doing? Open the door. No. Roll down that window so he can talk to you. My window is down so he can talk to me. It's not my fault. He's scared to approach. You got guns. You got your hands on guns. And you expect me to just? Nah, that's fucking crazy. Nah, man. Yeah, the cop really escalated for no reason. Yeah, because Chile accelerate the time. It's impossible to know how much time he just stands there in his car like a moron playing games with cops. Two minutes, five minutes. Of course, they're getting NZ after a while. Y'all sitting here looking like y'all ready to shoot me. You mad because I won't roll the window down some more? Come up here. You just walked up here. Why is he scared to walk up here? So he's an idiot. That's bullshit, man. Fuck out of here. Yeah. Now you don't got no problem walking up here. What are you doing, man? What are you doing, That's bro? That's exactly you got, bro, correct. I was, I was about to roll my window down and I sit there. You put your window down with you your gun on your head. You know how many times I asked you before I even went for my gun? Oh, well. What is the problem with Is it a lawful order? Yes, it is. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I'm What's giving it? you an order to roll your windows down. I and how is that lawful? We cannot rule? see in here. Oh, well, I didn't know that. You're, you're trying to you're protect making yourself. A stop that would have I'm been trying a to protect myself. I'm trying to protect myself, bro. How are you doing that by not hey, rolling bro. your windows down? I ain't even see y'all behind me. Here you go. You want to answer that question? Or you want to cut yourself off and me off while I'm answering your question? Oh, all right. Here you go. It's been ready for you the whole time. What the hell is wrong with you people? None of this was necessary from the driver, is clearly difficult, has a hard time talking, looks high as a giraffe pair of balls, and plays some games with the window thingy, and Chili made the first edit, so who knows what he removed. You are the problem. You acting like you're scared of everything because of Terry versus Ohio that puts officer safety over our rights. You're the problem, cop. You are. 
You're the bad actor. Uh, Chili one, you're the bad actor and you have a failed career to show for it. And two, yeah, he's afraid. The US is a free but jumpy country. There are almost 50,000 deaths a year from gunshots. So I would be afraid too that, you know, a dude I don't know is doing things in his car I can't see. I mean, that's stupid of him. Oh, that's a bad idea. Hey, hey, I don't give a if that keep me alive, bro. You putting your hands on your head. Bro, that. I had two men with guns at the back of my car telling me to roll my window down. Yeah. That makes perfect sense for me to just it do it. I should have pulled the fuck on. That's not my that's not my problem. It's not illegal right, for me to have my window up. You a cop, you should know that. In retrospect, looking at it, Rolando Bass, he needs to have his license, registration, and proof of insurance on a card or in a slip, God. Oh, yeah. God. everything then goes in your trifold. All the words he's saying are wrong. You plead the fifth amendment immediately. You put everything up to the window in the crack. Here's everything I got to provide to you by law. It says it right there on your trifle. Everything I need to provide by law is in the slip below. You get it on delete laws. Well, at least Chile admitted that everything the guy says is wrong. So yeah. All the words he's saying are wrong. And then use this moment to promote this stupid pamphlet with a bunch of nonsense. Oh, Chile. Hey, what's up, partner? What's up? Who you up to, man? Nothing. What's going on? Nothing. You going to work or what? I'm just doing my thing. Huh? Damn, I can't hear you too well. How you doing? Hey, what's your name, Basil, little son? The uh, Barrera 0505. Zero five. Barrera? Yeah. How you doing, man? My name is Rolando. Yeah. When was the last time you smoked marijuana, man? It's coming pretty strong coming out of your car, bud. Well, that's, I believe that's so guy, any, any In your trifold, you plead the Fifth Amendment. When the cop does that, when the cop says, what's that smell? You say, I plead the Fifth Amendment. I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Then the cop says, hey, I think I smell something in the car. You open your trifold up to the middle page right here. I'm going to fold it so you guys can see it. And then you simply tell the copper, especially if you're in a state that sells medicinal or recreational, and you say, hey, copper, what'd you just say? You said that you smell. Well, let me just show you real quick. Smell is not probable cause. It's right there. It's Commonwealth versus Bar 2021. I know you cops aren't very educated, so I just want to let you know that smell's not probable cause. Again, Chile is wrong. Commonwealth v. Bar states that the smell can be considered when assessing probable cause, but not as a standalone. But that's in Pennsylvania, but is in Virginia, so, you know, 10th Amendment. But since the driver is difficult, look, I am the presence of the smell, then yes, it's part of a probable cause. And that's why the driver screws himself by being petty. All this could have been a void. Congratulations, you played yourself. Any left in the vehicle? I don't smoke weed. I mean, I can smell it though. Oh, maybe you smoke it. When was the last time you maybe smoked weed? You, you don't smell no weed in this car. Is that what you're smoking now? Yeah. The old hemp? No. I mean, it's, it's the odor, dude. Is there anything else left in the car? There's nothing illegal in this no. car. You live in uh, <coughs> you live in Frederick. I don't answer the questions. That's fine. Mm -hmm. You need anything tight, right? All right, thank you. The cop is trying to arrest you. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, and and I know some cops. They have no problem giving you a ticket. Trust me. But none of them enjoy making an arrest because making an arrest, it's a huge shit show. Not only the arrest, but the mountain of paperwork after. And you must justify to your boss why you did the arrest. The system is overcrowded and every arrest costs a ton in process fee and everything. So if cops were just bringing people to jail just, you know, because, well, they would lose their jobs right away. Every word you say is another level to you being arrested. You want to immediately plead your Fifth Amendment right. There's nothing Rolando's going to say that's going to change this cop's perspective on what he's trying to do. Uh, I'll give you one here, Chili. Talking to cops is a mistake. Uh, you can end up saying one or two things that contradict, and then you are screwed, especially in an interrogation room. Only participate in an interrogation after talking to a lawyer first and have him present. But for a traffic stop, courtesy might have its place. Uh, just keep it open, you know, if the cops are chill and ask what you're doing, politely say I'm enjoying my day, might ease up the mood instead of, you know, yelling, I'm pleading the fifth with a pamphlet, you know, smashing your window. Is your door open? No, it's not. You need to do that for me right now. Are you pulling me out the car? 
Yes, sir. All right, cool. You should have said that in the first place. You talking to me like I'm fucking you. Me you know, so keep that rolling, but it's not going to be in your hand. That's it. That's a First oh, Amendment God. violation right there. Can the cop order you out of the car on your trifold? You flip that bad chicken open. Now, right there, it's my right to film cops. However, uh, First Amendment rights are not unlimited, and there are instances where recording could violate the law. If Rolando had had this in his hand, it would have been a different situation. You're not going to have it in your hand? Yes, I am. If a cop has the okay of his supervisor to take you out of a vehicle, he will not read your random pamphlet through the window. It's silly. And yeah, you can still film him, but when you get arrested, some of your things, like, you know, phone, won't stay in your hand, buddy boy. Cop loses qualified immunity for violating my First Amendment right. You have to have it in your hand. You gotta have it in your hand. <laughs> Prodators got a boner whenever they say losing qualify immunity. I don't know why. It's silly. Still, only a judge can do that, and it's pretty rare. Uh, I'm giving you commands. I need you to listen to them. Are you clear? Yo, what's the commands, man? I got shit to do. What's up? Cool. And unlock your fingers behind your head. And unlock your fingers behind your head. All right. What's, what's good? Shouldn't be petty. Why didn't they stance? Why didn't your stance? I know what they mean. I'm just dead, man. Stop playing your car. You're not going to get nowhere with me acting like that, bro. Why are you pushing? Step over here. Ah, you should tell me to. That's why I messed up before you put me in my back. He's done nothing wrong. He's done absolutely nothing wrong. You gave them a hard time just to be a dick. Eh, I ate cups. Eh. With this attitude, he made them wait and refused to open the window. Eh, little game from a little man. And now, shit happens. The real advice here is to never resist at a traffic stop. Because if the cops are wrong, then you can sue and you should if it's true. But by resisting, even if the cops were wrong, you still will be accused of resisting. And that's not gonna go away. What probable cause do they have to search his vehicle. Remember, the smell is not probable cause. He didn't inform them that smell is not probable cause. He didn't do it right. You have to invoke your rights and teach the pigs on the scene. Wow, this is the worst advice so far. Leading the fifth was actually the decent advice, but this is bad. Trying to vomit a bunch of court cases from other states, lol, to cops during a traffic stop is the stupidest thing you can do. Street cops are not the smartest bunch in law enforcement in a way that they can learn years and years of legal knowledge. A lawyer cannot even do this by himself. He has a team with him. I don't believe you smoked any marijuana in that car. So my you're, car's you're, me, I'm a grown man with my with grown little, man going through my shit. I don't like the way that that man's talking to okay. me. Okay. And that's my problem. Well every action has a reaction, man. You're being you're being sense, you're being a little deceptive. I'm being sense, I'm being deceptive. You odor of marijuana in your vehicle, okay? All right. So because of your behavior, that's why he's he's stepping it up the Okay, you're, you're a total piece of shit, dude. You're a total piece of shit. Hey man, you're black. You are too. Making him you're feel uncomfortable. Doing, you're not doing I got that. three men with guns in my face, and I'm making you put, feel put uncomfortable. Put in your face. Nah, well, when they went away, you weren't there with the way they approached my car. Okay. So uh, that's, that's what I, set the tone listen, for me. I'm, this is my first interaction with that, you. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah. it's your first interaction after a reaction with your man. So right. it is what it is. I'm and pissed off. Not, look, it it is what it is. I understand you're, you're being real respectful. Me, my bad. You're being real out. respectful and stuff like that. Yeah. But I haven't done nothing illegal since this whole stop. Well, so I don't care if he feels a certain way and he's stepping it up. I haven't done nothing to lead you. I don't answer questions. Is, that's my right. I didn't roll my window down. It's my right. Mar marijuana move. is not marijuana is not illegal. It's decriminalized in Maryland. I know you got Virginia tags. That's why I was asking you, where are you from, man? <laughs> Congratulations. You played yourself. I appreciate you being very professional while you're dealing with me. But, look, I mean, but other than that, the way he acted, I'm set off. So he stepped it up, I'm gonna step it up. So it's just that simple. All right. I, I freeze to have somebody, a dude with a gun and a bulletproof vessel and talk about he fearing for his safety. That's bullshit. I don't wanna hear that dumb shit. What you just said 
is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. See, look, you're not doing all that right here. I need you to stand right here. Well, I'm standing off the street. I don't need to go. Just stand right here, man. I'm not doing nothing illegal. I'm not going to move, right? Oh, all right. So, well, you're going to stand right here. You ain't going to stand here and just record what you do. What I'm you not want. Gonna just going to record and do what I want. Stand right this here. Listen, I will stop pushing. Stop pushing. All right, well, stand right here, bud. I don't you want telling me to stand in the street. I do you don't want me at his window. I'm, look, I'm at his window. Look, I've been. Look, you have to have the literature on you. You have to have it on you. It's my right to film you. You have to show it to them. However, uh, First Amendment rights are not unlimited and there are instances where recording could violate the law. They're so stupid. They're so dumb. They're such bottom, low level, knuckle dragging losers. Hey man, you're black. You are too. Stand back from this window. Stand right here. Let's get the fuck out of here, you know? Can't impede my right to record, record. That's simple as that. You know, your, uh, your attitude is going to get this reaction. My attitude yes, is going to get this reaction. you going to get my reaction every time people talk to me like that. My attitude is not against the law. Now, you've been respectful this whole yeah, time. Why don't you keep it professional right. and stop trying to impede my right to record? Why don't you keep it professional? Stop I'm not doing fucking professional. I'm, I'm a fucking citizen. I don't have, to, I don't have no way to con conduct myself when you pull me over and push me. A bullshit. A bullshit. A bullshit. Into the street. Yeah, well, well standing off of the street. You, all up on the you cannot justify it. why the fuck I need to stand in the street officer, and not stand officer, by his window. But it's officer safety. It's officer safety. So well, I step. I perfectly step back, and now I'm stepping back even further. And now you just impede my right to record. So what yeah, good you're, reason you're do doing, you have? What you good want. reason do you have? Here. What good reason do you have for me to move away from this window and record this officer it's, I just for his safety? Yes, for his. While you sitting here with a gun and badge. Ah, you're crazy. You just worry about doing your job and not controlling people. That's part of our job. Controlling people? Yes. Okay. There it is right there. He just said the quiet part out loud. He believes it's his job to control people. Let me explain something to you, copper. It's your job to uphold and preserve my rights. It is not your job to control me. You are not in control of me. Clearly, Chile, the cop meant to control the people, including a situation with the police. Not like randomly, you know, for fun on the sidewalk, you know. What's your, what you got? Failure to stop it. Oh, let's do this. All right. Yep. Good luck proving nice that one. You have a good day. And fuck you very much. Yep. Fucking asshole. There you go, you genius. All that shit for a ticket. And now listen to this incredible circle blow enthusiast explaining how to do it. First thing I'm gonna do when I start recording is I'm gonna put this hand right here. You see that? You see how that works? This hand is now up in the air. My camera is gonna bright up the sky. So if it's nighttime, then the coppers can see that the camera is in my hand. My camera's rolling, most important thing. Second thing, my elbow goes in the windowsill right there. I'm in touchdown position. This hand is rolling camera. This hand is up here so that I can reach up and grab my trifold and my proof of identification and my license. Everything is up in my visor. With the same hand that this phone's in, I'm gonna reach over and grab my license, registration, and proof of insurance that is in my trifold. If you're poor and white or black or brown, don't reach around because you could die. It's a real thing, it's a reality here. So now I'm not gonna get myself killed because I didn't follow a very rigid set of policies, procedures, and protocols. I'm recording everything with my phone from over here. Everything's being recorded, you see that? The phone is facing me, so my head is the most important thing. Now, once I've given him my license, registration, proof of insurance, I'm filming everything. He asked me where I'm going. I say I invoke my Fifth Amendment right to remain silent. Okay. If you ask me another question, you're violating my rights and I'll file a lawsuit against you. Write your ticket, do what you're gonna do, but don't harass me any further. But this is how you do it. This is how you do it. What the heck? Is that why is it so complicated to explain two things? Make sure your documents are prepared and don't talk too much. I mean, that's it. But mm -hmm, finally, for you, my little sweet cookies, since I got in a traffic stop lately, I'll tell you how to do it. First, I notice the cops in my rearview mirror. I know it's going to be for speed, not too fast, just a little. Stop my car, stop the engine, open my window, and gather my papers. A cop arrives at my window. Hi, sir. I have you doing some speeding. Well, yeah, I didn't pay attention for a minute. It happened. You have your papers? Of course, I give my paper. All right, give me two minutes. So I waited for two minutes, looking fabulous. Then he came back. Here's your paper. Please respect the speed limit. There are many accidents on this road. I'll be more careful. Thanks and have a good one. Thanks, you too. Total time, two minutes, no ticket. And that's how it's done. 
Or, you know, you can be a dick, says F you to all cops, not open your window, and get arrested all the time for no reason. <laughs> That's your choice. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> All right, enough with this clown, my dear Chili. Like they say in the Philippines, we're down in a more. Shout out to the members. You're the reason why I keep imposing those videos on myself. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's expose those clowns one at a time. Bye.